Doc Rich back at it again, baby. And we got something else from Jordan Peterson or with Jordan Peterson. Uh, we got Jordan Peterson discusses whether men and women can ever be equal. Man, I, I I know that title alone just ruffled some feathers. And uh, the fact that y'all just got notified, I, I know I lost a few subscribers. <laughs> anyway, this is what we're going to be checking out. Like, share, comment. Of course, hit the subscribe button if you knew. I greatly would appreciate it. Um, all of that really does help the channel out. Even just, just hit the like button. You know what I mean? Really helps your boy out. Okay. Um, original link will be in the description box below. Let's go. I understand by equality, Sophie. What does it mean to you? Also, uh, go and join the new Discord server. It's the first link in the description. I'm sorry. We're going to restart that. What do you ex understand by equality, Sophie? What does it mean to you? Uh, freedom. Can you be more? Is it a quality of opportunity? Is it equal pay across the board? Is it something more than that? Freedom. I think equality is better for everyone. I, I yep, think, okay. you know, I, and I'm really delighted, uh, you know, I love my job because it's an optimistic and a hopeful job, which is about creating more choices for people. I'm interested in people being able to have different choices and, um, and having equality of outcome. Aha, uh -huh. well, so you're going to have choices. Equality of outcome. I'm sure Jordan's going to have something to say about that part. Aha, uh -huh. well, so you're going to have choices and equality of outcome. What if people choose, choose different things, which is what they've been doing in Scandinavia? So the Scandinavian countries have moved more towards gender equality than any other countries, and the personality differences in Scandinavia have increased rather than decreased, and the proportion of women who are choosing STEM fields has decreased rather than increased. So as cultures become more gender neutral, the number of women who choose STEM fields decreases. What do you mean by increasing. STEM fields? So science, science, technology, technology okay, okay. engineering, and mathematics. So if you let men and women make their choices, what actually happens is that they specialize in different, in different situations could they and you not, don't get equality of outcome. Could they not have been programmed to have those views from the moment we raise them and give boys no. Lego and construction? No, because, because what happens is that as countries get more egalitarian, which means there's less program, programming of that sort, the differences get larger, not smaller. And the scientific data on that is clear. And most of it was generated by people who have a left-leaning bias, so you can't blame it on conservative scientists. It was a shock to everyone to find that out. So I think, I mean, I think the difference between Jordan and me... That, that, that's definitely a shock. ...is that we, um, we look at uh, evidence and we lean towards different theories. So Jordan's theory is very much evolutionary, you know, that there are inherent differences in men and women. Mine is very much more social role theory, if you like, and I, that, that men and women are taking on different roles due to the expectations that society puts on mm. them. And it's, it's interesting that Jordan frequently uh, cites Scandinavian countries where they've made more, like there's nowhere in the world that women are equal, um, but Scandinavia has made the most progress towards um, uh, shared parenting, um, etc. Um, that said, um, it's not done yet. There's nowhere in the world where this is done yet. But so, it's having the opposite so, effect that the gender equality types predicted. But, but, opposite, not, not the same. So and it isn't a theory, it's actually data driven by tens of thousands of surveys and the best scientific literature on the topic. I'm no, it's not a theory, mm -hmm. and I didn't come about it because of my political perspective. I looked at the data. What it showed was that as countries become more egalitarian, the differences between men and women grow. They don't shrink. So what I'm he's speaking from a place of, of, of facts of data, like he, he said, the data shows. So apparently he's done his research. He's looked into the numbers and I love that he's not speaking from a place of, of feelings. You know, I feel like a lot of people get caught in their emotions and their feelings. Oh man, you know, uh, yeah, but the data says this, the statistics say this. I don't care about your feelings. I'm interested in is, is data and analysis as well. And I'm particularly interested in the ones presented, such as the ones by the University of Southern California, um, which discovered that um, change towards gender equality is actually being slowed by beliefs that are legitimizing social inequalities on the basis of sex. And I'm also interested, I mean, like Jordan, I look at the data and I look at the studies and I'm really also very much interested in studies uh, like the analysis that was done by um, the American Psychological Society, which looked at 45 analysis of sex, whether there's sex difference over 20 years. And its conclusion was that men and women are basically alike in terms of personality, in terms of cognitive ability, in terms of leadership. But what it did find was that media depictions of men and women as fundamentally different 
perpetuate misconceptions, as does workplace bias. Oh, God, so it's my fault. Oh, I feel like Jordan about to, Jordan about to pick that apart. Lord. So, no, well, you know, you're leaving soon. It's okay. <laughs> men men, and, women, men and women actually are more the same than they are different. But the issue is, is that small differences at the population level can turn into very large differences at the extreme. So, for example, men and women are broadly similar with regards to aggression, although men tilt a little bit more towards aggression. About so that if you picked a random person out of the population, male and female, and you guessed that the male was more aggressive, you'd be right 60% of the time. But if you take the one in a hundred most aggressive people, they're all male. And that's why the overwhelming proportion of people who are in prisons are male. Now, do you want to equalize uh, that, just out of curiosity? Uh, what about bricklayers? They're 99% male. And, the f and we've got about three quarters of, of the population now in universities, mm -hmm. in the humanities and social sciences are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? And men, men work more longer hours, they work more dangerous jobs, they're more likely to move, they're more likely to work outside, they're more likely to participate in jobs in the STEM fields that are scalable, they make more money for those reasons, and that's all hidden under the idea that the reason that men and women make different amounts of money is because of their gender. It's a very simplistic analysis and trying to I can, address I just say, can, can you well, come back well, on I mean, that? I'm, uh, what I'm trying to equalise is, is opportunity and choice. Fine, and let's equalise choice. You agree, and you agree on that. that. But we won't get equal outcome think, that way. And I think that what happens then, uh, nobody knows. Because we, we've, we've never done it yet. We do know. We know what's happened in it Scandinavia. Has, but, it but it's not fully got there yet. No, but it's going in the opposite direction that everyone predicted and strongly. You know, it's crazy that, that they keep going back to the, it's not finished. But Jordan keeps refuting like, yeah, I understand that. I hear you. And I understand it's not finished. But it's going in the opposite direction than what they intended for it to go. So even though it's not finished, you're not getting closer to what you want it so like what, what do you you, you want to wait until it's finished and it's all the way over here you know like uh, it's frustrating that they keep going back to that it's not finished it's not finished well it's going in the opposite direction so address that why is it going in the opposite direction you know i i, I don't know I, it, it, I just find that a little frustrating listening to this whole thing i think this i think one of the things i loved about jordan's book which I read, speed read last night, so yeah. forgive me, Jordan, I've not read every line. <laughs> but one of my favourite rules in Jordan's book is rule nine, which says, assume the person you are listening to might know something you yeah, don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, like I think that, that in like a country that. where men outnumber women um, uh, by two to one in parliament, in local government, um, where women's voices are not equally represented in... Matter of fact, hold on, I, I, I want to run that back. country where men outnumber women yeah, don't. Okay which says, assume the person you are listening to might know something you don't. Yeah, okay. Assume the person that you are listening to knows something that you don't. I like that. And I think if everyone went into discussions um, and debates with that in mind, I feel like they may go a little bit better. Assume the person that you're speaking to knows something that you don't. And that's why in, 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 in last video, I made it clear, like, I don't think that I have all the answers. I know for a fact that I don't. I understand that I could be wrong in anything and everything that I say. So when I'm presented with new information, new statistics, new facts, whatever, I reserve the right to change my opinion. You, you're not about to hold, oh, Rich, man, but you said this in this last video. So, and your point. I got new facts and new statistics and, and numbers to back it up. So I I can change my opinion. And also, uh, you know, along those same lines, I don't feel like I'm too, you know, on, you know, too big on a high horse to where I can't be wrong. I know that I could be wrong. It's a fact. Like, I'd be foolish to think that I couldn't be wrong. You know, in, 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 in watching people who refuse to understand or realize that they could be wrong, it's honestly frustrating. We all could be. And it's okay. It's not the end of the world. You know? It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And I think that in a country where men outnumber women um, uh, by two to one, one in parliament, in local government, um, where women's voices are not equally represented in media, um, where our education systems um, still are teaching boys and girls ideas of pink and blue, yeah. What I'm trying to do is work with thousands of optimistic, hopeful people uh, for change. OK. You set, kept very quiet through this, Michael. I'm, I'm going to make you uh, put you under a bit of pressure. Do forgive me. I'm going to come to the calls in a moment. Your boss called the gender pay gap a burning injustice. Is it? 
Yes, it is, because uh, it's, there should be an equality of uh, opportunity. There needs to be the same rights. But you know something that surprised me? That neither of you, and, and the quality of outcome, sure, all of that, all of that. But the no. one thing both of you haven't mentioned... No, there should not be equality of outcome. And ...is the biological difference, which unfortunately affects women's career prospects, whether we like babies it or not, well, yeah. babies. Mm. And that does cause a problem. You know, if I were to take a sabbatical from a corporation for a while, it's going to set me back slightly. And it is a problem that biologically it's women who have babies, not men. Sure, but that's why we are the, so the Women's Equality Party is the only party in the UK, uh, that's got policies around shared parental she's leave. She's we're, so the on, we're the only, well, we're the only party that um, has got fully costed plans for universal free childcare. Um, what we're saying is that um, to change, change we're outcomes. trying to change the outcomes, and also men are joining our party. Men well, who are I, really I tired. Say, I'm Mike, sure I'm going to have a word with Michael. <laughs> I'm sure you want the application. Okay, okay. Forgive me. We take joint, me, we take joint forgive me. I want to take one call. If but, you'll forgive me, because time is sure. really short, and I owe it to the viewers to hear their views on this. We've got Salim calling from Manchester. Salim, good morning. Hi, Matthew. How are you doing? I'm very well. I'm loving. I'm uh, hogging. Oh, pig in heaven today. Uh, <laughs> what do we think about equality? Will it ever happen, Salim? Um, I, I, I was going to say I thought it was going to happen, but after listening to Jordan, he's swayed my opinion. Oh, oh, no. why, did <laughs> you th why did you think it was going to happen? Because I think we're going to become more cognitive creatures and jobs are going to be more about mental skills. Technology. But then I've, I've been visited schools and I work in STEM. Techno I, I, I'm a software developer and the number of women doing software development hasn't increased. Mm. I would have thought they would have increased more, but I went into secondary school to do GCSE yeah. uh, IT stuff, and there's very, very few girls doing IT, and I was thinking, IT is the future, and why are... And they are, the schools are pushing for more girls yeah. to go into IT, mm. but there's only... Two, uh, can I, I, I can visited I about eight schools... Can and I just, I thought, sorry, sorry, can I just, Nick, no, no, because I'm 30 seconds. Sophie's idea, actually, representations in the media could be affecting Absolutely. such choices. Geeks, we see geeks, spectacled blokes with bad hair on computers. That's what <laughs> tech means, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely right, because I think actually that one of the other things we want to do is to have a look at curriculums, to have more female role models, to you know, to encourage girls. Because so long as we still see STEM as a boys' area that we're trying to get girls into, it's not going to work. We need to do the work we're doing on care, get more boys thinking about you know nursing, yeah. teaching, more role okay. models for boys in schools. Uh, and that's the way you break it on all down. programs like EastEnders, The Archers. Yeah. that's helped yeah. them. Complete. A lot. Right. So I, listen, I have to draw things to a conclusion. Can I just say how wonderful three people, diverse political views, diverse views on uh, many other issues, that get along famously and have wonderful conversations. Thank you. That is Thank exactly you. the ambition that I have for this you. show. Uh, so, Jordan, good luck with the book. It is out now. It's called 12... Interesting, interesting debate, interesting topic. Um, obviously, you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know. Let me know. And let me know why. Give me, give me some facts, some statistics, some... You know, some information to um, let me know why I was wrong um, and whatever it was that I had to say, you know, that you felt, you know, I was wrong with. Um, like I've always stated, you know, I understand I could be wrong on anything that I say in any one of these videos. Um, and, and I humbly say that, you know. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Jordan Peterson discusses whether men and women can ever be like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'm going to catch you in the next video too. I'm out.